Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to Ravenlock. And where we left off in the previous episode, we actually ended up right over here where all these black bunnies are, uh, the scoots. And from here, I think I gotta keep on going and see what else I can find. Hold up, what is that? Just random bits and bobs. Hmm, okay. I love it that the little bunnies are all happy that we saved them. That is super cool. Oh, this must be the missing tea party painting from the Victorian house. I should bring it back immediately. There we go. We finally found the painting. Awesome. Awesome indeed. Hey, thank you for saving us, Ravenlock. It's so wonderful to be free. Oh, I'm really happy for all of you. With the Twiddle Twins out of the way, we can wait. We cannot wait to go back to our families. Feel free to take what you need from the storage room. And thank you again for all that you have done for us. Sounds good. And thanks for believing in me. Awesome. That was super awesome. It's not working. There are part missing. Hmm. I wonder where this elevator leads to. I should ask the school bunnies. Excuse me. Where does the elevator lead to? Why, it goes up to the clock tower, of course. That's where all the time keeps moving forward at a steady pace. But you don't really want to go there. What? Why not? The queen's curse has suspended the time and with it brought more darkness. She must be stopped. Agreed. But the elevator has been broken for a while now. If you want to use it, you'll have to find the spare elevator lever from another place. Okay. So we gotta find the elevator lever, bring it here in order to use the elevator. I get it. Hmm. Well, I don't think there's anything else that we gotta grab from this place, is it? Let me just look around again to make sure I'm not gonna miss anything. We got the painting, which is the most important part. Uh, these are just beaten bobs, but nothing that we need. And I have a feeling that is about it, to be honest. Alright, in that case, let me make my way back to the Victorian house. Uh, right over here. And let me go ahead and place the painting back on the wall. Which is gonna be right over here. Here we go. We got it. This tea party looks so real. It's almost as if I'm there. Oh wait, can I actually go to that tea party? We can. No way. Okay then. We found a teacup. <laughs> Alright, and I think there's another teacup over here as well. Yeah. Alright, perfect. Man, this is definitely Alice in Wonderland. Look at this. <laughs> oh, how exciting. A guest. It's been awfully quiet these days. Here, have something to eat. Um, I'm okay. Thanks. Are you throwing a tea party? That's right. I'm Toppy, the party planner. I organize all celebrations in the mushroom forest. We have wonderful feasts all years round. That is, until the dread occurs. The Queen's Curse? You've heard of it? She has a twisted sense of humor and made everything gigantic. There's so much food here that it's all rotting. And it's frightening all the guests away. Oh, what will become of us now? That's awful. But don't worry, I want a quest to stop the queen. Maybe I can help you? Really? Well, I will really appreciate that. I'm trying to get my tea set in order, to get, uh, in order but they are incomplete. If you find a teacup, would you bring it back to me? Of course. How many? Five. Cool. Still looking. So, I only have two. I just need to find three more. Let me also activate the portal, of course, so we can fast travel to this location. There we go. And from now on, I will be able to make it uh, all the way up here easily. Let me just get my hat on again. And let's keep on exploring. There's another teacup here. Let me make it to the side, I guess. Oh, some more teacups. There's one. There's two. And there's also a chest. There's so much slime covering this treasure chest. And faintly stinky smell wafting out of it. Hmm, it's locked. 
So I gotta find a way to open up this chest, or more like find the source of the slime, get rid of that, and maybe, and then maybe I'm gonna be able to open up the chest. Uh, grab that. Uh, how many do I have? Oh, I have all the tea sets. Let me just go back and have a quick chat with this fella, tell him that I have all the sets. Grab more coins while we're at it, as I'm gonna have to start spending them. Things are quite expensive when you're trying to buy stuff from the shop, so as far as I could see. Hey, Toppy! I hope that you're ready for some cups. <laughs> yes, that's just what I needed. With the tea set complete, I can throw tea parties again. Thanks, Ravenlock. You're a pal. <laughs> I can't wait to have a tea party. What fun! Alright, well, I guess we're done with uh, this part of the quest. Next up, we gotta find the... Uh, Source of the slime. Ugh, what a strong odor. It smells like rotting treats. Could that creature be the cause of it? Oh, what is that? Is that like a snail? What is that? It does look like a snail for sure. Oh my god, it's disgusting. Definitely not a snail. <laughs> Who dares interrupt while I feast? You, you sneaky little rodents. Have you come here to steal my food? I live to eat and I want to devour it all. Now then, you, you will be my next snack. I knew it. <laughs> there we go, get a burst. That was easy. There we go, there's a little bit of damage to him. Nope, oh God. Gosh dang it, dude. Hold up, hold up. I need health. Thank it. I gotta use aim uh, blocks more frequently. Just like that. That kind of stunned me quite a bit, though. I got a petition. Oh, no, no, no. Get out of there. Oh, jeez. I believe I have the ring that protects me from poison, so I should be good. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not good. I'm not good. I'm not good at all. <laughs> I'm not good at all. He almost, almost killed me there. Get out of here, buddy. Being annoying. And disgusting as well. There we go. Usak the glutton had a key in his belly. I wonder what it's for. Oh, it's a slime key for the chest. Awesome. I sense a power within you and I will unlock your hidden potential. Try out your new skill with LT. Hmm. Oh, this is gonna be the uh, yeah, sword attack. Look at that. Jeez, that was awesome. That was super awesome. I'm still hoping I can find like a piece of cheese here that the rat is gonna want. But at the moment, it only looks like there's uh, sweets around here. No food. So maybe I'm going to get myself a uh, cheese at the tea party. I don't know. Let's just see. But now, let's grab more coins and let's see what this just has for us. Oh, what is that? A slimy treasure. A shiny dessert. This is perfect for Tio the Chef. Ah, there we go. So that's for Tio the Chef. Inside the chest, of course. Awesome. All right. We got it. And I'm actually going to make my way straight to Tio and give it to him. And then I'm going to continue coming here and carry on with the journey. But let me just take this one to Tio. Could also tell this guy that we took care of uh, the slime. I can't wait to have a tea party. Yeah, that's all he wants. Never mind. In that case, let me go back to the Victorian house. Perfect. And give this guy the treat. I found some exotic confectionery, and it's quite cheesy. Really? Let's have a look. Here we go. Oh, get a whiff of that. It's perfect. Now I'll have the inspiration to create all sorts of new recipes. Wonderful. Before I leave, here's a clock hand for you. Oh, yes. We finally found it. Such a wonderful ingredient. The smell. The texture. The taste. <laughs> okay, now we found the uh, thingamajig that we needed. Let me make my way back here. 
because I was saying I want to continue my journey through this slimy area. Just want to see what it's going to take me to. I kind of like it that when you're exploring these areas, the bosses, you can still see them. They don't disappear completely. I kind of like that part. The only boss that disappeared was the mushroom boss, but he only disappeared, I guess, because he was kind of like in the way. Hold up, there's a secret path here. Ooh, it shocked me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to grab this one, but maybe not just yet. Maybe we gotta figure out how to grab it. At least now we know that there's one of those uh, flowers a little back. There's another one to the left side here, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to collect these ones for a mission. Yeah, let's just see who's gonna request them. Hopefully it's going to give me something to collect them. And at the same time, we can also activate another mirror. There we go. The Hydra Nest. Okay, so there's going to be a different character as well called Hydra. So many of these flowers. Is this Hydra? Holy smokes, this game. The environment in this game is absolutely stunning. I mean, look at this area. It's absolutely huge. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to make my way to that tree eventually. Oh, and we found one of these fellas that I was watching in the distance. <laughs> that was so lucky. I'm absolutely loving the dance of my character. <laughs> I mean, she's dancing. Look at that. <laughs> Do the dance. All right, perfect. Let's see what Hydra has for us. The serpent looks like it's in a dark trance. It should find I should find something to wake it up. Yeah, the flowers. Find a way to uh, to wake up the serpent. Oh, it shocked me. Okay, so these are the ones that I need, right? This could wake up the serpent up, right? I should look for more. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, so we need five. There's four over here. Actually, two over here. I want to say. There's a third one over here. All right. Fourth one over here. And lastly, the fifth one on this side. Here we go. Let's see if this works. Oh, I did work. Pardon my manners. I'm Ammon, the serpent. Thank you for waking me. No problem. I'm Rivenlock. It looked like you were in a bad dream. That may be an understatement. I have been playing with nightmares ever since I met the queen. It's as if she cursed me, unleashing a deadly shadow. What do you mean? Every night I battle a three-headed Hydra in my nightmare, but I fear that soon I will not have the strength to fight, and I will be consumed by the darkness that lies within him. Will you help me, Ravenlock? The fate of the Mushroom Forest hangs on this battle between dark and light. I will! I've seen the suffering brought on by the Queen and her actions, and I'll gladly help you defeat the Thorulon, the Hydra. I am so grateful for your bravery. Gather the supplies that you need for battle and talk to me when you're ready. Hmm. I do have, um, three portions of health and quite a few bombs, so I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Are you ready for the Battle Raven Lock? Yes. Whoa, what the... I wasn't expecting this thing to be this big. Holy smokes! Jeez, what is this thing? Hold up, buddy. Uh, let me use my burst then. Oh, God. Uh, let me also use... A bomb on his face. 
And destroy him. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Oh, I did not know that I should dodge that, dude. No, no, no. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I need help. Okay, that was easy. Perfect, let's use another burst. Get destroyed! <laughs> no! I don't know how he missed this one because he's actually on top of me. <laughs> but I don't care. We got this, we got this. This is easy. There's another burst going towards him. Almost dead. He's almost dead. Woo! He got me there. And he's done. Awesome. There we go, we saved them. Raven Lock, you have my deepest gratitude. For you have defeated my nightmare. I can feel the darkness within me resetting. You're welcome, Amon the Serpent. I'm glad that you're no longer troubled by the Queen's curse. Now, I will bring you to the sacred tree. Commune with it when you have taken your reward. Oh, what? Jeez, look at this. This scene is superb, dude. Are you kidding me? So I'm gonna chat with him. I'm gonna get my rewards. Ooh, the bunny's here as well. Let me get the uh, chest first. Oh, we found a witch hat. A mystical hat once owned by an ancient witch. Does this mean that I can actually go ahead and activate the uh, witch hat? Yes, it does. <laughs> awesome. It's pointy. Uh, I'm looking for some more of those bunny collectible bunnies, but I cannot see any, unfortunately. Yeah, there's no collectible bunnies here. Fantastic war, Ravenlock. You have defeated Thorlon the Hydra as I knew you would. Now that the Queen's power is weakened, you must seize this chance. When I wave my staff, a portal will open into the Tavoid. Only you, the Chosen One, can enter and claim the powerful relic that will unlock the way to the Queen's castle. Alright, thanks. Perfect. Wait, am I supposed to actually... Keep on making my way towards this thing. Uh, am I not supposed to also go through the maze? Hold up a minute. So, find a way to, uh, to the labyrinth. Funicular access. Fix the funicular schedule. And it's time. Find the elevator lever. Hmm. What if I keep on going towards this way? It's not taking me anywhere. Yeah, so I have no other choice. I gotta go inside the mushroom. Although I have a feeling I will fail. Uh, enter. Oh, what? This looks super amazing. Yeah. You found the Thorlone Heart. Okay. What am I supposed to do with it, I wonder? At least this is how it spawned me all the way back home, which is great. Place the first relic in the castle. Ah, I get it. So the castle door has kind of like three slots in it. And all these three slots are going to need three of these hearts. And I just managed to give myself the first one only. Hey, Rivenlock, did you find the relic? I did. It's quite something. I'll bet. 
For now, you must place the Thorland Heart in the castle gates. That will bring us one step closer to the Queen's castle. Okay. So all I gotta do now is just take this key and stick it in there. This Thorland Heart looks like it could fit. There we go. So there is our first heart. We just need to destroy two more of these, of course, beasts, the big beasts. Get the heart and bring it back to the portal. That's kind of like uh, our journey so far. All right, well, in that case, uh, let me go ahead and fix up the funicular. I think we can do that. So, if I use this one, and I use the hand that I have from the uh, mouse, there we go, it's working. And all I gotta do now is just order a... Uh, it looks like the amount is set to 100 coins. Sure, pay. There we go. We got ourselves the ticket. Now, all we can do is just ride the ticket, uh, ride the funicular actually, I want to say, all the way down. The view to the labyrinth never gets old. I know you're enjoying it, buddy. I see ya. It looks pretty cool. And... use. Here we go, we made it! This is gonna be our new way to get to the uh, labyrinth, or through the labyrinth, through the botanist. This might be the labyrinth. Sure is. Oh, what is that creature? I hope it ain't an enemy because it looks amazing. This place is superb though. And I can already see another one of these statues that I gotta collect. <laughs> oh, her dance moves. Love it. Alright, hold up. Let me have a quick chat with this one because I'm pretty sure this is not an enemy. But she looks lovely though. Alina the Crane. Greetings. I'm Alina the Crane. I've been waiting for your arrival, Ravenlock. Then I'm pleased to have arrived. You have done so good to make it this far. It's unfortunate that the labyrinth has not been spared from destructive forces. Since the curse, the protectors of this land have been banished. But there is one who remains, a sleeping goddess who is trapped inside that stone statue. Trap? Well, she must be free then, eh? I was hoping they would say that. Will you help me free the sleeping goddess? Yes, tell me how. There is a special flower that belongs to her that is hidden in the collapsed temple. Find the Emperor Lotus and bring it back to the sleeping goddess. Without it, her spirit cannot be restored. Awesome! And of course with this, we can also activate a brand new location here so we can fast travel this uh, spot as well. I love it that we have these mirrors that we can use of course to go back and forth to uh, different locations. Because there are shops and all that stuff that you don't want to just walk back. And having the mirrors that will to help you get there faster is definitely the way. I'm pretty sure I can also chat with this frog. Hi! Since it's such a perfectly grim day, would you like to light up the mood with a quiz? I have prizes. <laughs> sure. If I'm thirsty and I see a glass of water, I like to bathe in it. Am I a frog? Can frogs drink through their skin? Yes. Correct, frogs can absorb water through their skin. We are well hydrated. I can hold my breath for up to one hour. Am I a frog? No. Correct, I can hold my breath for as long as four to seven hours at a time. You're getting the hang of it. I blink to swallow my food. Am I a frog? Do frogs blink to swallow food? No. Actually, do they? Isn't that neat? Congrats, you won! Enjoy your prize. I was I was guessing that they blink because they want to clean up their pupils, I guess, but... No. Apparently the frogs blink to swallow the food. Or at least to help them swallow the food. That was super strange. Alright, let me make my way into the labyrinth. This is gonna be super, super complicated to probably make my way out. We got a chicken, we got a crab over there. It's like a grave. There's a code carved into the stone. Strength beside courage. Love after courage. Courage before strength. 
Grace after love. Huh? So I'm gonna be guessing this is uh, kind of like a code that we gotta um, properly remember to know how to maybe make our way through the maze. So there's a code card to the stone. This one is saying, strength beside courage. Love after courage. So it's love, courage, and courage before strength, and grace after love. Oof. It's gonna be pretty difficult to remember. I'm gonna do my best here to try to remember, I guess. Um, let me try to figure this out again. So I took photos of every, of every single one of those. Strength before, besides courage, love after courage, courage before strength, grace after love. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see how this goes. For now, let's chat with the chicken. I can't believe it. What a pain. Hi, what's bothering you? He left Golden over there. He's in that spot again. I swear, he does it just to infuriate me. Not only that, he's stealing parts of my nest. And he even plucks feathers off my back when I'm not looking. Who does that? Ugh, his golden sheen offends me. This is my domain and I should be the only one to shine. Hey, you look like a reasonable kid. Could you go there to the Helios Golden and tell him to get out of my spot? I do it myself, but there's some treasure here that I'd like to keep safe. Hmm. I have a feeling this guy's keeping safe this golden egg or more like whatever type of egg that is. And I have a feeling Helios the Golden is this guy? The crab? Hey bud, what are you up to? Hey, I saw you talking with that cockatrice over there. Have you come to admire my glowing shell? Uh, oh, hi. Uh, no, it's just not really my place to ask. But the cockatrice said that you are out outshining him and he would like you to leave. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. He's always been jealous of my golden luster. What's more, I can easily zip around all over the place, but he's stuck there underneath his gazebo. It's too bad for him, but this is my favorite spot. It took a long time for me to find it, and I certainly won't budge. Are those feathers from the cockatrice? What? Yeah! The feathers really add to my look, don't you think? I doubt the cockatrice will mind. Hey! Did he just take a swipe at me? I don't want to start any beef with you, so get lost! Stop that! I don't want to fight you! Alright, that's it. I've had enough. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Let's see what you're gonna do about it. Oh god! Nope, 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 nope! I actually need to get myself some health. Let me get out, let me get out. Because I do need a little bit more uh, spot here to work with. Love it. Attacking this fellow from a distance is actually pretty easy. Oh god, I don't know what he's doing. Nope, 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 nope. I messed up. I messed up the attack. Come on! Alright, get out of there. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of that. Oh, I missed again. Dang it. He's almost done. There we go. He was a meanie. Oh, he's not done. What is this? I don't know what's happening here. There's so many enemies. Are you kidding me, game? Jeez. I did have to go back and update my um, my weapon, to be honest, because it doesn't seem to be as effective as we keep on defeating, uh, or more like as we keep on fighting more powerful enemies. Alright, are we done yet? There we go. That was pretty close. I was not expecting those enemies to show up. Oh, they're not done because Helios the Golden is back. Come on, game. Seriously. 
This battle is more difficult than I expected. Nope. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I don't have any more health. Do I? I don't. I don't. Oh uh, no. That's bad. That is super bad then, eh? There we go. There we go. Uh, let me go with poison. No, no, no. Nothing can touch me anymore. If I if something touches me anymore, I'm done. That's why I gotta just attack from a distance from now on. Gotta pay attention though. No, I knew it. Dang it. I said that I gotta pay attention. Well, at least now we know that if I want to defeat that guy, I gotta be ready. <laughs> this is not gonna be an easy battle. Not gonna be an easy battle at all. But if I do get my weapons upgraded, which might not be that difficult, as I may have quite a lot of feathers collected so far. Um, and also, of course, buy more potions for health. I might be able to do it a little bit faster. Anyway, at least now we know. What do we got here then? Look at how creepy this looks. First of all, let me get another one of these bunnies. Hit him, buddy. Come on, buddy. Get out of there. There we go. Yeah. How do we open this up? Who seeks to enter the sorcerer's lair? I'm Rivalock. Is this the way to the greenhouse? Yes. There is only one way, though, as it is through this cave. All right, may I pass through? Hmm. That sword and shield tell me that you could be trouble, and Shani the Sorceress will not want you to enter. A sorceress? What kind of a magic does she do? Well, only the finest kinds, where you give up your soul. Oh, uh, but I quite like to keep my soul. Is there another way? I could be persuaded if you pass my three trials. I seek some treasure of my own. The first object I desire is something light and bright. Bring me a crane feather from the Alina the Crane, and I will consider letting you in. Are you kidding me? No. Does that mean that I'm supposed to fight with Alina the Crane? Because I feel like she might be super strong to fight against. I mean, currently I try to destroy this guy, the golden crab, but man, he's strong as heck. What about this path? Hmm. Nothing here by looks of it. I was expecting maybe like another one of those bunnies hiding somewhere, but I cannot spot anything. And this is probably going to be the way in. Oh, I see some symbols on them carved up. Could this gate lead to the collapsed temple? It's locked. There's a symbol on each of the guardians. How puzzling. I should look around for clues. Hmm. Investigate the area for clues. So as I was saying, these are root stones. I'm missing something. Yeah. Maybe I gotta find these rune stones around and activate them somehow and then this is gonna open up. Because as I was saying, there is one here. A runestone for courage. Mm. So we gotta find them all. Okay, no runestones here. Now, hold up. It is said that this one is for courage. So let me take a photo of this as well. There we go. Just so I know which uh, what each of these symbols represent. Uh, this one is for love. Oh, you know what? I have a feeling this crab is probably above another another one of those rune stones, and because of that, I cannot see it. Let me just keep on looking around. Maybe that's just a guess, but this one is Grace. We gotta find one more. And the last one that I need 
This one is strength. And now we gotta find the codes. And the code yep. is here. There's the codes. Awesome. And now we gotta complete the puzzle. Which means we gotta complete this one here. Uh, and I have a feeling you can actually move these ones, right? Activate runestone. So, who is gonna be the first one? That is the question. Strength beside courage. So it's courage, strength. Love. And courage before strength. Eyes before courage is before strength. Grace after love. Oh, there we go. We got it. Awesome. That's what I wanted to open. Oh, what? What is this? Oh, what a beautiful flower. Take it. Oh, God. Monster ambush. <laughs> Archers are the first ones that I gotta go. Woo! Get destroyed! There we go. Are they done? I think they are. Nope, they are not. Oh my god, what is that one? I've never seen that before. Oh god! That oh, looks so strange. Hold on, I'm getting stuck. There's another burst here. No, 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 no. Perfect. There we go. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a third wave. Or maybe not. Now, what did I just get, I wonder? What is that? If I go into my inventory... Hmm. It's not showing up as a hat or anything. And when it comes to the weapons, you cannot really change to a different weapon. So I'm not quite sure what that was. It's probably gonna be for a quest or something. Oh, maybe I gotta place it here now. This must be the flower that Alina the Crane speaks of. Here we go. We got it. The Sleeping Goddess. Awesome. That was not that bad. Uh, as I got this one, though, I am going to keep on looking around for more of those hidden bunnies. Though I don't really see anybody. Yeah, I definitely don't see any more of those hidden bunnies. This was great, though. Loved it. Well, in that case, now that we got this part... Uh, as I was saying, I'm not going to fight with that dude because we know that it's powerful and I have to become powerful myself before I'm going to do this. But what I want to do is make my way to Alina and give her the flower that she requested. There's a special flower that belongs to her that is hidden in the collapsed temple. Find the Ember Lotus and bring it back to the Sleeping Goddess. Without it, her spirit cannot be restored. Wait, what? Didn't I actually get that? So return it to the Sleeping Goddess. Talk to Alina the Crane. Return it to the Sleeping Goddess. Oh, maybe I gotta get to a specific temple to the Sleeping Goddess and return this flower to. And then I gotta come back and chat with Alina. Uh, yes, that's what it sleeps. Uh, that's what it feels like. And I'm guessing this is kind of represented the Sleeping Goddess. Oh, never mind. This is where we gotta place the Lotus. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. My deepest thanks to you, kind girl. There is now a pathway for us to return to this, to this land. In time, we will rebuild the labyrinth to its former glory. You're welcome. And I look forward to seeing that one day. Oh, man, this was so epic. 
All right, and now we got to chat with the crane. I have restored the sleeping goddess. Oh, thank you, Ravenlock. This is very noble of you to join this battle against the darkness and bring hope back to the labyrinth. Is there anything that you would like in return? Well, could I have one of your crane feathers? Huh? Yes, you need to bribe the Dorian to dragon, right? How did you know? Well, before I grant your request, I must warn you. There's an evil that lies inside the sorcerer's lair. You must enter with caution. If you do make it through it alive, I will meet you on the other side. Good luck, Ravenlock. Here we go. So thankfully, I didn't have to fight with her or anything in order to take that. Interesting. All right. Anyway, guys, you know what? I think it's going to be the end of this episode of Ravenlock, and we'll come back in the next one. We're going to carry on the adventure, of course, make our way through the labyrinth. This time, we are going to defeat that crab because I am planning on going back, upgrade my tools, become stronger, and then challenge the crab once again because we definitely want to and we definitely have to defeat him. But until next time, guys, thank you all very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, support the channel as much as you can, and help me keep on making videos for y'all. And with that said, I'll see y'all very soon. Bye, everybody.